we got a bunch of inquiries come, that came in on uh, for hemp drying, and uh, we started fielding those inquiries, thinking we were going to build an agricultural dryer. We found out that we had a few things to learn about it, so we got interested and um, decided that if we're going to learn anything, we learn from the ground up. In talking about the drying process, there are a couple of different ways to do it. Um, one, and what we thought was going to be the predominant way to do it, would be with a convective type dryer, where you have a rotating drum and you bring hot gas created by a burner and an air heater, and you bring the hot gas in, it intersects with the material, delivers with heat, and, and dries it. In our test lab, we were actually running material through our direct heat dryer, and we decided to go through our steam tube dryer to see what that did. What we're looking at doing with the next series of tests is to take it in a much um, less processed state, something that's gonna be more representative of just freshly harvested from the field. And uh, again, it's about uh, the material handling characteristics and how sticky it is, because in a steam tube dryer, the uh, surface area available in the dryer coming in contact with the material that we're processing that actually does the drying. So if we've got really sticky materials and they coat the tubes, then we're not gonna dry very well with materials that are, that are sticky and that wanna adhere to the tubes is we can take a certain amount of dry material and back mix it with the wet incoming feed and come up with the moisture content going into the dryer where it doesn't stick to the tubes. It's just about uh, how raw of a state that we can handle the material in the steam tube dryer. So this morning we harvested um, hemp out of Hank's field and uh, we uh, about 8 o'clock, chipped it up about 9.30 and now we've got it loaded up and got the dryer heated up behind me, steam tube dryer. Um, so the way, way steam tube dryers work in general is you're cascading material over these hot tubes with steam. It takes that latent heat from the steam to dry the material. Um, and besides just drying, we're trying to convert um, the CBDA that's in the raw hemp to CBD, which is useful. CBDA is, you know, it, it it's, doesn't have any of the properties that it was. You have, to, you have to heat it up to remove that. So that's what we're working to do today. What's going to have to happen to meet the growing demand is it's going to have to be mechanically harvested. And if you mechanically harvest it, then you're not able to put it in a barn to dry. You have to dry it on the spot. So you would say take a combine or, or other piece of equipment that is set up to pull these blooms off. You would remove the bloom from the plant in the field. Those blooms would then be dried and then they'd be stored so that the oil extraction can take place months from now. So you could store that uh, long term after you've mechanically dried it. So that's why uh, we're moving forward with, uh, with this technology.